so basically, you see I've been going on this wild goose chase here. And it's very hard to not break the law and actually see what's going on here in the Everglades. No trespassing construction site. Do you see any construction going on over there? Are you aware of? So they got a huge amount of miles blocked off. Nobody can test nothing. Look, commit a felony. So, I don't know what to do at this point because you go all the way down the car sound road to the bridge and it's all blocked off. Kind of went up just a little bit. Once I went around the stairs, I thought I'd stop, see what the sign says. But you can see this is a sign from FDL. I want to find a way, man. So this is Card Sound Bridge. And this will take you right to First Florida Key, which is Key Largo. And it's also the first main entry point where you're going to have water that comes from the cooling canals that would come underneath this bridge. So it's the main access point. Talk to this fisherman, he's only fished, he hasn't really fished here before, but he hasn't had any bites. Uh, I did see some people fishing on the other side of Card Sound Road Bridge. Got a good wind coming through. So I'm probably gonna see if I can go back around Card Sound Road, maybe get a little bit closer, but I'm telling you, the way they got this power plant set up, it's very hard to even get access to even near these cooling canals. So they have it all blocked off. I just want to give you a little bit of perspective looking at Google Maps and just giving you an idea of the amount of land that they have sectioned off for this power plant. See, the sign was in very new condition. Now, this is Card Sound Road right here. All the way from Card Sound Road to the beginning of the ocean is blocked off. And it's about six to eight miles from Card Sound Road to the discharge point. So the thing about the Everglades, this particular water right here, it's actually like a filter. And a lot of algaes and mosses in this type of brackish water right here. Plus some of it's going to flow into Card Sound. And... As you can see, right here where I was, at that bridge point, is the Card Sound Bridge. So, what I am suspecting is, they say that the plume, and they only refer to it as a salt plume, which I think is a real disservice uh, to honesty, that they said it, it's probably going to be moving south and southwest. So I'm imagining that this area is right here is the contamination points. And then you can see all across Car Sound Road, FPL put up new signs that say, oh, warning anybody trespasses anywhere over in this area. On the right side of Car Sound Road, he's going to get a felony. And that's a new sign, and I think that's specifically designed to keep people out of there. You won't have hunters finding weird type of animals, people getting sick eating that, and, you know, just to keep the, the information down. They don't want people to know what's really going on as far as the contamination. Uh, because those are new sciences, so this is something new that they've expanded their area. And they say construction. What possible construction could they be doing, FPO, over here on Car Sound Road? It just doesn't make sense. But there is one other thing I wanted to bring up. On Carson Road, you will find lots of fishermen against this canal right here. And they're actually on the right side of Sound Road. And when I zoom in there, you're going to see power lines coming from Turkey Point Power Plant. Right here. Now, there's a bunch of little spots right here where fishermen like to go. 
they're directly beneath these power lines. This is power supplying the Florida Keys. And it's very, very high. I had brought my EMF meter and it was buzzing like crazy. And I was just seeing a bunch of fishermen all on these little spots right here. So they're getting a double whammy. They're getting EMF transmissions that are going to be splitting their DNA. And they're also eating contaminated fish from, from Turkey Point. So they're getting double whammy here. And you see there's, there's cars parked right here. There's boats right below these lines. There's no warning signs for these people. So I think these people, they have a, they have a cause for concern. Not only that, but I think they have a legitimate uh, lawsuit here because there's not even being warned about these power lines. Look at this. The Monroe County Toll Bridge. They got their cars parked there. The little offices, the little boats. They're getting fried too. You can see cars down the road. Power lines are very heavy from Turkey Point. So anybody dying down this road for a while is going to get a headache for sure. I had walked up to this point and stopped here, and that's where I met the fisherman over in this point. I was thinking about parking my car here, but how am I going to get over here? I'm trying to do this legally, but like I said, they make it very hard.